Hey guys, I'm gonna play a little bit of Elden Ring. Just came out. I've been super excited for it, and uh, I am stuck at home. So here we go. I have a character here that I've already made. I named him. Uh, sorry, named her after Lucatil from Dark Souls 2, and I'm playing as a class called Ast um, Astrologer. <laughs> But uh, anyway, hopefully all goes well. Uh, it's kind of like a little spell-based class, kind of like a sorcerer, a little bit. I don't really know what else to compare it to. So this is a limb grave. There's a big old tree, really pretty. Probably seen it in all the trailers and stuff. It's a jump button. The weirdest thing to me so far, I haven't played much. I just made my character and like played for like couple minutes last night but there is a um, use triangle to interact now which is a lot different so uh, I have this recording set at like an hour so hopefully I'll be able to get some good like gameplay in or you know something oh, something cool there was uh, some kind of a tutorial boss I I was doing pretty well with him not really taking any hits or anything like that and then I tried to mix it up with my sword I started with this staff here and uh, I just had to you know I had to get more up close and personal with the sword and made a couple mistakes and did the typical from software thing and died to the tutorial boss because I wasn't uh, really outputting enough damage so I think I was kind of meant to die there. I'm sure there was the ability not to, but... Um, anyway. It was funny, I actually had a clip here. I, I deleted it a second ago, uh, unintentionally, but... The other day I was kind of looking over this little cliffside here. From right over there, looking at the beach. And there's a, there's a dude hiding here that I didn't notice, and he like pushed me over the edge. You can see my magic is pretty effective. It's a, it's a lot stronger than I thought it would be for a, kind of a beginning spell. But uh, you see I keep trying to jump, trying to read the messages. I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne recently kind of running through the game again. I was watching uh, Jap Jacksepticeye, I cannot talk today, um, you know, playing it, talking about how it's his favorite game and stuff, and I was like, me too, Jack, me too. And so I got like super excited and I re-downloaded the whole game and uh, I've beaten it twice in the last maybe like week or, you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I have beaten it twice because I remember uh, last night I fought Garman and I kept like screwing up the parry timing uh, for the first time. <laughs> almost got him and then like died. And then the second time I got almost all of the parries like straight away. Um, it was weird. He's, he's one of those ones that's a little bit weird to like figure out the timing on. So these guys just friendly? What if I hop on him? Can I get a ride from a turtle? Are you trying to tell me I can't hop on a turtle? Oh, Miyazaki, what have you done? Eh, we can play leapfrog. These are stakes of something Merida or something like that. Oh, is that an enemy? Oh! Thought that was just like a ambient thing. What does this dragonfly head do? Does it do anything? Oh, it's a crafting item. Um...
Oh, well, cool. I have something exceedingly rare. That's always nice. Oh, yeah, but here's my character, by the way. Kind of a cutie. A little bit, a little bit odd looking. I went with the atypical thing and made her a little bit muscular. Give her a little bit of body here. I don't personally mind that on a one. Not that you asked. But it's my channel and I can do what I want. Feral flame of a king. Burn true. Cool dialogue. Oh, the dog noticed me first. Come here, buddy. Sorry. <sighs> Is it weird that when they flee, I want to kill them more? Maybe that's just the ghost of Tsushima in me. <laughs> I got the jump button mixed up. So you can do jump attacks in this game, which is really cool. Okay, I might get wrecked by some dogs. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> it's always the dogs in the FromSoft games. Oh, they look so cute, though. I'm gonna go with the Stake of Marika. Or Marika. Marika! Nani? Okay, anyway. Um, Guidance of Grace. It's just to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Oh, okay, never mind. I can't read that the whole thing. <laughs> okay, game. Look in me here, dogs. I can cast a fair bit of spells, I think. I'm glad nobody heard that loud spell casting sound. What are they saying? Sounds like a name. Yeah, it's somebody's name. Ooh. Sorry, I was getting a little spammy there. Oh, a stone sword key. I know a place where I can use that. I'm still learning kind of about game mechanics here, but I know that there's a, uh, so I guess those work kind of like the, um, Ferris lock stones or whatever in, um, Dark Souls 2. Alright, come on, doggo. You can just get magic. The ones without swords, I'll just take on with the sword. Y'all better run. So backstab is still a thing, which is really cool. It was like a little tutorial thing, and I, I did it just for the sake of it. And, uh, it really is worth it, because you get, um, like, another item or two out of it. Pretty cool. And the... St so you can get, like, a starting gift, like in Dark Souls. And, um, I chose the little seed. 
I really didn't know what half the items were, but I chose the seed that makes your... It's like an Estus shard in a way, or something like that, but essentially it gives you like another use of your flasks, which are your healing items. I feel like that was a, a pretty good one. I don't know if that was the best starting gift to choose or what, but I'm satisfied. So I'm, I'm thinking that there's going to be a lot more difficulty in there. Um, I kind of want to explore the outer bit a little bit more first. And then we'll see if we can go dungeon diving. Uh, I'm going to be honest though, I have enough to level up, but I have no idea how to level up. I'm going to blow out a candle I have over here real quick. I love the smell of the smoke. It smells really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> By the way, just random side note, I have some clothes coming from a really cool place online called uh, Lonely Kids Club. It's a little place in Australia. They just have a really good clothing. Uh, kind of a more ethical kind of brand. Kind of a small brand. Where they uh, like hand print everything. Pretty cool. Replenishes my flasks? Whoa! That's a cool mechanic. I dig it. So I could potentially get all of my flasks back past a certain point? If I kept doing that? <laughs> yeah, I figured. <sighs> Hopefully there's no weapon durability thing I have to worry about. Okay, is this a trap somehow? Is it breathing? I'm just gonna trust it. It has a nice glow in there. Oh, fancy. Transporter trap. <sighs> yeah, I knew it looked like a trap, but I was like, eh, I don't know. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> Maybe that was the wrong decision. But hey, I'm not dead, so whatever. Guess we'll find out what happens. I'm assuming I'm going to be on one of those like rolling carts or something like in the trailers. <sighs> oh. No, I'm just in a crystal tunnel. Whoa. Um. Don't know if I'm actually ready to be here. What is that? Oof. Mm. 
Nah, I'm good. Well, it didn't get easier than Dark Souls, that's for sure. Oh, cool, I respawn right here. Thank you! Kinda stupid. I wonder how many hits that guy takes. <sighs> I'm probably gonna die a lot early on. I'm probably gonna die a lot in general, really. Try something here. I made it through that, by the way. I got no idea, but I'm surprised I survived that. I suppose now I can explore a little more freely. I'm not as worried about these other guys as I am about uh, the friggin' 100 arrow at once guy. Got the jump button for a second. So I'm assuming if I use that, it'll, it'll just transport me back. Okay. I'm still alive, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh shoot. No thanks. Oh. That's brutal. They're not even making contact. Oh boy. 
Ow. If I can get him dead, I can I can look around a little bit more. Oh shoot, there's another one. Oh, did I get him? Woo! Elden Ring game of the year. As long as I'm winning. What is this nonsense? This looks special. Oh, smithing stone. Oh, shoot. Weapon upgrades, maybe. Oh, please don't murder me. Can you see me? I hope not. Oh, I almost walked over the edge. What the crap is a rune arc? Uh. Oh, great rune. I get the blessing of a great rune. Oh gosh, this reminds me... This is like a weird mixture between the mining place in Demon Souls and like the gutter. Which, by the way, unpopular opinion, but the gutter is freaking great. I really like the gutter. Especially from a design standpoint. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with dying right there, that's fine. Oh, thank goodness the echoes don't... Or the... <laughs> I just said echoes, dang it. Oh, she's cool. Looks like the uh, Ivory King a little bit. If I'm remembering my names correctly. I don't know. I'm forgetting what that helmet is from, but it looks like that a little bit. The dude in the background looks like he could be like Vendrick. That was giving me heavy like Dark Souls 2 vibes. Uh, where the frick are my uh, thingy, thingy bobs? Really, right there. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this a hole again. I'm so glad that I have magic, otherwise, I would be so screwed right now. much of that damage can be blocked. I'll have to test it in a minute, but I need like a better shield first, probably. I'm assuming I don't block a whole lot of damage. Oh gosh, where is he? Stuck. Dang, we need that mechanic from Dark Souls 2 that, like, um, <laughs> removes the enemies after they've been killed seven times or whatever.
Come here. Man, I just do not do much damage to them. this guy passes. Oh crap, he noticed me. That's not supposed to happen. You know what though? I know some people are probably gonna disagree with this or whatever, but if I can get this thing to open, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back where I came from. So I can kind of handle him. Sorry, hit the mic, by the way. I can kind of handle him like the, uh... The Elan Knights or whatever. I don't know why I keep thinking of Dark Souls 2. Boy, it doesn't even take me back. Oh boy. Uh, okay, do I have something that does? Well, that one makes me lose all my runes. Uh, oh boy. I could try to, like, summon help or something. Might as well. I, I haven't really tried the multiplayer. I don't honestly know how to get out of here. That's that's the one part that kind of like scares me a little bit. I definitely need my magic back. I might just be able to get around him without the spell though. So I'm not going to waste it yet. the one good thing about being kind of snowed in is 8 hours of Elden Ring on release day. Oh shoot. I'm gonna have to take out his big stinky butt. Most likely anyway. These guys seem pretty cool. Like I don't mind them. It's these big ugly sons of guns. are the ones I'm worried about. Have to wait until he kind of goes back to his little...
so it's like maybe three or four of those until they finally drop and then okay I think we're good we're gonna be sneaky beaky get out our sword just in case really wish there was another way around that that it looks like such a like non dead end kind of thing and then it is a freaking dead end and it, it makes me kind of upset Super slow. Maybe they won't notice. <laughs> Me too, man. Well, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just try not to make any sudden movements here. These minor guys are pretty chill. I don't mind them. Not at all. Oh, praise the sun. Why can't I examine it? Is it because there's an enemy nearby or something? Ah, uh, whatever. Looks like a side of grace. Safety! Level up, please. How the crap do I level up? Uh, do I just do it like whenever? I have way more than I need to level up. Shoot, am I gonna actually have to like look up how to level up? <laughs> uh, how to level up an Elden Ring? Oh, I have to unlock the ability to level up. <sighs> Great. <laughs> so basically just hold on to what I have until I can get there. 
<sighs> I have to remember though that there's kind of a rule that you learn over over time. I mean, eh, why not? But there's a lot of um, you know, they always make you feel like you need to like preserve everything, blah 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 blah. You know, you get very like protective of your souls or <laughs> in this case runes. But um honestly sometimes it is uh it's fine to lose them, you know? And you kinda gotta get used to that. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh where's the map? I forget how to do that. Oh boy, I haven't even looked at the map. How far from home am I? Oh shoot. Okay, well I'm gonna, I guess I'll take a look first. This is very frightening though, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I just showed up in Bloodborne, and uh, I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne, but I don't feel ready for this. This feels very not okay. Boy, those are enemies. Oh boy. Uh, good luck. Oh my gosh, Elden Ring is so freaking gorgeous, dude. I'm legitimately terrified, though. I have not had this kind of a feeling in a game in a long time. And this is like the crazy exploration stuff from the Souls games, but just cranked up to like a billion I feel so lost and like freaked out. <sighs> I haven't had this, I honestly haven't had this feeling since like the first Dark Souls. <laughs> Dry friend. Is that a little Lord of the Rings reference? That's funny. What if I cast like a sorcery at it? I mean, there's a ton of sorceries, right? No? Uh. Bow? I don't know. Oh, this place is freaky, dude. I'm gonna get out my strong stuff here. I don't want to. I don't want to get oofed randomly. I probably will, but ill-omened creature. Oh, I bet. Dude, where the crap did I end up? Oh shoot, so he's invisible like half the time. Oh boy! Uh. Oh dude. This is kind of bonkers. Oh, I don't feel safe. 
Well, probably because I know that I'm not safe, right? You know what I mean? This is like the most unsafe looking place that I think I've ever seen. And this feels like a trap of some sort. Oh, oh, I know what that is. That upgrades my uh, flasks. Okay. Well, even if I don't feel safe, I'm definitely, I'm getting good items and stuff. Um, dude, where the frick am I? This is so cool. I'm well. I'm kind of a sorcerer build, so I like don't want to leave right away because I'm in like a sorcery area. You know what I mean? Dude, I don't even have my horse yet. I'm scared. Oh gosh. I don't know if I jump high enough for this. I might have to try the tower in a minute. I knew I could make that jump though. Uh oh. Oh boy, friggin' giant dad over here. Just please tell me he can't get up here. Uh, okay, so this is worse, or what? Oh, it boosts invisibility sorcery. Okay, cool. I dig it, I dig it. So it's got very similar sorcery scaling. Um, physical damage is a lot, or not a lot worse, but just a little worse. But, okay. And I can't hit him from there. Okay. Well, he forgot about me. So I think we're good. Oh, this is freaky, dude. Um, I'm going to actually end this little episode here, I think, because I have to use the restroom. Um... But I will just keep recording right after, and I'll go ahead and upload this in a minute. And I'll just upload them as I play them, if I can. Um, I might actually just do a stream, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Um, stay safe. And uh, no, no corona. Bye.